Hey guys, welcome to this <clears throat> tutorial today. We are going to be working with Dreamweaver. <clears throat> uh, brought to you by Bloom Tech Support. Visit us at bloomtechsupport.webs, that's W-E-B-S dot com. Uh, today we are going to be, I'm going to be explaining to you how to create a Dreamweaver site which basically is creating a root folder um, which is just the main folder that you keep all of your files for your website in so the first thing um, I'm going to open up here in Dreamweaver CS4 um, it doesn't really matter what Dreamweaver you have right now because this just main dialog box thing here shows up Anyways, depend it doesn't matter what you have. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna go under here to the under the create new section. Uh, under here you can create HTML page, Cold Fusion, PHP, ASP, CSS, stuff like that. But we're gonna go down to this second to the last Dreamweaver site. Click that. All right. Um, we start out here in the basic, um, which you can just start naming your site where HTTP, HTTP address or URL of your site is. But um, we're just going to go into advanced for now, just so I can explain some extra stuff. Um, we're going to just stay in local info. We're not going to go into any of these other things today. Okay, so local info, site name. Let's just name our site for now, um, Fred's, um, site. Now, it says, um, local, local root folder, which I was explaining a little earlier. We're going to create a root folder, so we're going to just hit this little thing. Um, I'm just going to create mine here on the desktop. So I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to go up here, hit, create new folder, which it's loading... For some reason, it's being really dumb. Okay, new folder. So we're going to type in um, Fred's site. Um, double click that. Come on. Okay. Double click that right, and we're just going to go hit select. Now that we've defined a local root folder, we're going to create, it's kind of like a default images folder, kind of like a root folder, but it's for your default images where your images go. So we're going to hit this little folder icon, and we're already in Fred's site, so we're going to go and create a new folder and name it images. Hit select, oops, oh wait, I messed up. Make sure you actually click images there. Now hit select. Okay. Now you can do these other things, links relative, HTTP address, but we don't have one yet, so we're just going to leave it at that. And hit OK. Opening site, Fred site. So, once you create that, um, my computer's kind of lagging. Sorry. Okay. Then you can do that. And then you can create, like, whatever you want. A type page. But if you notice, over here in the sidebar, files. Um, we are in Fred sites. Well, I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to show you any of my other sites. But it says local files. It says site, Fred site. If you open this up, images. There's no images in it yet. And then you can, okay, for instance, if we want to go here, right click, new file. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Okay, we're just going to call this index, for instance, index.html. Enter, if we, we're going to double click this. Double click and it should be opening, which it's not because my computer sucks really bad. 
sorry, oh, here we go. So that, you can have your folders there, images, if you want to link something up, so just say, home page, for instance, highlight that, make sure you're in properties, you can link, click this little target thing, click and drag, drag it to the index, like that, oh, Oh, there. And then it becomes a link. And that's how you create a root folder for a Dreamweaver site. Thank you for watching. Visit my website at bloomtechsupport.webs. That's W-E-B-S dot com.